Hello, it's Chris Harrio. Welcome to another video of Official Thenix. Today I'm here with one of my best friends, this beast right here, Osvaldo Lugones. We're gonna be doing a chest workout, a sick chest workout. This is a workout that we do here at Thenix just to increase our overall control when it comes to a lot of pushing exercises. So a lot of the advanced movements that you see us do, the planche and all these other crazy movements, all stem from doing exercises like the one you're about to see. So let's see if you can keep up with this routine. All right, so the first exercise we're gonna do is ring dips. I love this exercise right here because it works a lot of your stabilization muscles. We're gonna go for 10. As you can notice, Osvaldo is keeping his hands really tight. That's really important. You wanna keep it real tight to your body and make sure you're working all those stabilization muscles. This move at the beginning is gonna to feel tough. If you're not used to rings, you're gonna feel like, ah, oh, all over the place, but that's what makes this move so great. When you can do it like Osvaldo, nice and controlled, you're really starting to get that control. So I'm gonna go for 10. It also helps if you come up to the top and twist out. Let's go for some deep, wide push-ups. All right, so let's go wide, Osvaldo. We're gonna go elevated. Try to get a wide grip and let your chin or your chest reach the ground. Let's go for 10. That's a great move. Stretches out the chest uh, and gets you used to holding real wide. Going wide is always great. Always develop too much strength. All right. <laughs> so that's going for 10 slow dips. You're gonna go up, go down slow, push up hard. One, let's go for 10. Two, keep that form nice and straight. Three, four. Okay, now we're gonna go into some close grip push-ups. Let's go for it. Get one of these. Awesome. All right, so for some close grip push-ups, let's hold it nice and close. If you wanna really isolate those triceps, point out your elbows like that. Here we go. The next one, straight bar dips. Ready? As you can see, we're just going through the whole thing non-stop. If you guys feel like you need to take a break, for sure go ahead and take a break. The whole point though is to keep going so that you feel like you can go, but you're not completely ready. You know, you don't want to lose that fatigueness, you don't want to lose that tightness. You want to push through that tightness. That's how you get to the next level. It's not the first 10 reps that get you stronger, it's the last two. The ones that you gotta really uh, strain for. So we wanna keep that same tension throughout the whole workout. You ready for the straight bar dips? Let's go. If straight bar dips feel a little easy for you, you can put in this little technique, this little twist that me and Alfaldo like to do. We go down to the lowest point of our straight bar dip, and then we act like we're gonna go down, but then we come back up. 
So it looks like this. Ready? Go down, like I'm gonna go down, and then twist back up. Come on. We go down, then twist back up. Man, that is such a great movement. You guys really wanna practice that, and eventually being able to do reps like that. You'll feel it. Let me know how that goes. All right. Woo! Let's move on to waist push ups. Waist push ups. Can you get those there? All right, so this next exercise, we're gonna be doing push-ups by our waistline. You wanna go for it first? Go for it. So you wanna push up by your waistline, have your hands by your waist. When you come up at the top, you lock out with your arms. Just like that. Okay. Now these are super tough, guys. So you wanna work your way to eventually coming down here. You can start here, then slowly do it here. When this gets easy, do it here, here, and keep pulling back until you can do push-ups at your waistline. All right, so let's go for 10. Last but not least, we have tricep extensions. One of the basics, but the sweetest ones. Now, if you have a 90 degree angle in your arm coming up, you wanna push down with your hands and forward to come up. Now, it's harder the more you come forward. So, the further your fingers are from your head, the easier it is. The closer your head is to your fingertips, the harder it is to press up. So let's go for 10. You ready, Osvaldo? Ready. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Woo! All right. So that's the sick chest and tricep workout that we got for you guys today. Make sure you do four rounds to complete this session. For more sick workouts just like this, in fact, a whole program to teach you to get in the best shape of your life, visit thenx.com. We have so much to offer there. Also, definitely subscribe, like, share, and comment to this channel. Don't forget to know, let us know what you want your next video to be about. Until next time, peace out.